Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to make it a little bit easier to share your Power Query files. So this is going to be a really simple example where maybe we have a Power Query file that sits in one Excel worksheet workbook and we're calling on another Excel workbook to bring that data in for our source data. So I have book one here. Uh, this is both in folder one, my book one here. I have another file called names, which is going to be my source data. Double click that to open that and we'll see what it looks like. And basically it's just going to be a four column um, table of names, name information. So we have our first name, last name, email, gender. Close this, right click, close that. Open back book one here. Here we have book one open. Let's bring in that file that source data. So I get data from workbook and we'll browse for that source file names, double click that. And we're just going to pull in that data as is that those four columns click on my names, uh, names, call names table. And we're just going to pull that in. I'm not going to do anything with it. Click load and it's going to load it as a connection only because I have set it up to load as a connection only in my setting. Right click. Let's change that. Click load to right click load to table. Let's put it in cell G1. Click OK. So that table is just pulled in now via Power Query from that other source file. Now if I save this, click Save. So right now this file is in my folder one. The book and names and the source files names one. So if we simulate this where we're sending to somebody, it's going to be in a different folder path. It's not going to be in this folder path. It'll be something different. So let's simulate that. We're going to send we're going to move everything to folder two. Close this, right click, close, and we're going to take this, these two files and move it into folder two here. So it's in the folder two here. Now if I open up the query, you're going to find that there's going to be an error. If I go and if the source file changed for some reason and I wanted to refresh it, you'll notice that there's an error now. It's going to say that it can't find it because it's looking for it in folder one. So in our simulated example of sending this to somebody else, it's going to look at in our folder, not their folder. How do we change that? Well, we're going to have to create a reference to the folder that this book one is in. And to do that, it's going to be this. So I'm going to type equal cell, open tab, file name, close tab. And this is going to be the file name and it will give us the file path of wherever this book one is. So it's in this file path. I want to take everything there up to that bracket where the name shows up and pull it into Power Query. Left bracket, I don't want anything after that because that just tells us the name of this worksheet. I want to get the file path. So let me get pull that out. I'll use the find function, press tab. I want to find in, I want to find the square bracket within this text. Let's close parentheses, press enter. And that square bracket is in the 32nd place of that whole string of text. Now I want to pull that. I want to pull that out now. So I'm going to use another function. I'm going to use left. Open parentheses. In the text, I just repeat that cell function I did earlier. File name. Close parentheses. Comma the number of characters and those that was that where that 32 came in. So it's going to find all is going to bring back all that text up to the 32 30 second character place. Close parentheses, press enter and you notice that it's brought everything back but it also brought back that that bracket. So I don't want that bracket. I'm going to do minus one. Close parentheses, press enter and you see that I have that there. I'll give the cell a name. I'll call it path or path path uh, I'll do it folder path press enter so now I've named the cell and I'll incorporate that name into the power query now so go under queries and connections data query connections double click to edit that and let's make this a little smaller in my query I want to go under advanced editor and here let's add an extra line so now we're going to define a name, folder or parameter, folder, we'll call it folder path, equals, and we're going to use an Excel, uh, the M code Excel function or M code function called Excel 
or M code that current workbook. Double click that. Open parentheses, close parentheses, we'll keep that. And open curly brackets, square brackets, open square brackets, name equals in quotes that photo path name that we gave it, that one in cell A1 earlier. Get out of that. Open square brackets content. Get out of that one. Space curly brackets zero. And then square brackets column one. And it has a comma back here. So no syntax errors have been detected. Click done. Let's see if this works. It's looking for that folder path. It's pulling it into the source. Oh, we forgot to change one thing. Let me go back. I forgot to change something. So this folder path, now we're going to have to add it in here. See, it's good because it's going to look for it as a source. So we'll take that, click folder path, ampersand, and join it to the name that XLSS, that source file that's looking for. No errors have been detected. Click done. Let's refresh. Ah, oh, it already refreshed it. Great. So now we have our source. We have our names. These are the different applied steps. Click close and load. And it's going to load it. It's loaded it without any error. Let's double check that. We refresh that. And it's loaded. Now, we can hide this if we're sending it to our, our users. We can hide this. Uh, hide that. Or we can put this into a new worksheet and hide that sheet. Maybe we want to put this into a new worksheet. Right click. We'll load it to a new worksheet. I'm going to have to put it into a connection only to put into a new worksheet. Click OK. It's going to load as connection. Remove it from worksheet, the sheet one. Let's right click and load to and load to a new worksheet. Set as a table. Let's do a new worksheet. Click OK. All right. And so we can send it to somebody and hide this part. Right click, hide. So we have this in sheet two. Now let's pretend we sent this to somebody. Close this file. Click Save. And now let's pretend they have it and they put it into a new folder. In our case, it's folder 1. Open this. And enable content. That's fine. Go to Data. Refresh All. And it refreshed it. All right. So let's do some changes. Just, just to see if it worked, right? Because it seemed like it worked. So let's do this. Double click that. And maybe all we want is, we want to do a little couple changes here. We want to have first row as headers. We only want people in EDU. Contains EDU. Click OK. We have that. Click close and load. We have a smaller data set here. Let's close and save that. And pretend we sent this to somebody. They're no longer in folder one. They're in folder two or some other different folder. Double click that. And they see this. Maybe they, they're playing with it. They don't want to see just the EDU stuff. Click queries and connections. Double click that to open it. And let's remove that filter. We'll close, remove that filter. Click close and load. You see that all come back. And it's all refreshed. And if I open up my hidden worksheet, double click that, right click, double click that, you can see it's in folder two. If I close that, click save, and I move this back, you'll see that that changes. Open this book one. You can see now it's in folder one. So that's how we can share our query workbooks with others if we're referencing an Excel file that's outside of our particular workbook. It's a couple lines of M code, but it makes things a little bit easier when you share files. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.